Hello friends and welcome back. Today I am working on some projects around the house. So I thought I'd take you along for that. Um, my last video, I showed you some of the updates that we had done since we moved here to the upstate of South Carolina. So I'll show you what I have um, planned for today. Hopefully my next video will be more of a regular day in the life, but let's see what we have going on today. All right, so the mantle came in. So um, I'm gonna have probably include in this video this mantle getting hung. So I've got a like a handyman that's gonna do that for me. He's gonna attach it up here on the fireplace. Um, our best bet I think is gonna be to go into the grout lines instead of into the stone. So that is definitely not something I wanna do. I'm gonna let him do that. Today I'm gonna be working on these shelves. They are just bare wood and they do need to be um, stained or protected in some way. So I was thinking about going with a color that's kind of similar to these shelves here. And um, I'm gonna use a gel stain on this because I feel like with the way these are so, you know, they're already connected and they're like right beside the fireplace. So I really don't want to risk getting stain on everything here. So I've got a light up there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those on, probably tape around here to try to protect this, the nearby surfaces. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this today. So I hadn't gotten around to decorating this area yet, but I had set some things up on these shelves just to kind of get them out of the way. Um, my plan was to leave a lot of these plants in here just so they can get some light from the windows. But I also had some baskets and things that I'm not even sure I'm going to use and I had just put them up there just because I had nowhere else to put them and I was not ready to get rid of them yet until I finished decorating and decide what I wanted to have in here. to be using this Minwax gel stain. The color is chestnut. And so if you've never used a gel stain before, it's like extremely thick. And um, I definitely feel like it's a little different than using a regular stain, but um, I think in the application that I have, this is going to be good because it won't drip as much. This is the color. So this is just like a regular paint stick. and. That's the color with sort of like a light application, which is probably what I want to do. Um, I have some of these sponge brushes, but I'm, I think I'm going to actually just rub it on and wipe it off with one of these lint-free rags. Probably going to prep with some tape, and um, I think that's the plan. I am going to be using some gloves um, so I don't get that all over me. And um, so that's the plan. I think I'm going to start by taking a microfiber cloth and just wiping everything off in case there's any dust up there. Um, and I think I'm gonna start on the top shelf uh, in case I really hate it or something where it's kind of hidden. I can kind of see what it's gonna look like before I um, work my way down. So I think that will probably be the best thing to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep first and then work on these top, this top shelf here. If I feel like it's turning out pretty good, then I'll just go ahead and finish all the way down. I don't think it's gonna take a long time to do um, other than the fact that I have to be really careful not to mess anything else up and I will need to um, I usually don't tape when I paint I'm usually just careful and I kind of wipe as I go if I do make an error or you know get something on wood or whatever but you can't really do that with stain so um, you know I could paint if I get it on the wall I could just paint over it but I'm going to try taping and see how that goes just so I can get you know closer to the wall and everything but um We'll just kind of see how that goes. Friends, we'd love to pray for you. If we can pray for you, let us know in the comments below. I 
got it mostly taped. It's definitely not the best tape job. I've <laughs> got a couple of holes here, but I'm gonna go with this. I hate taping when I paint. I feel like if I did this all the time, I'd never paint anything because it like takes me longer than the actual painting. But anyway, we'll see how this works. And um, I'm gonna just do one kind of shelf at a time because if I don't feel like I really need that much, um, if I feel like I've got control over it, I probably won't tape the rest. So we'll just see. Here's how it's going on so far. We're gonna to try to keep it light. Um, so I could definitely leave it on longer and it would be a lot darker, but I wanna keep it kind of on the lighter end of this. So if you are new here or haven't been here in a while, we have moved. You're probably, if you haven't been here in a while, you're probably like, where are y'all? Um, but yes, we moved about two months ago, six weeks ago, I think. And we didn't post on YouTube for probably six to eight weeks during that time and just um, packing and moving and just all the things that needed to be done. We also moved my mom in with us. So we really had two moves. We had to move her as well as move our family. And um, so it was just a lot to do and um, there just wasn't any time for me to film or edit or whatever. So I finally feel like at this point we're getting settled in pretty well. We have most of our furniture. If you watched our previous several videos, you probably know that um, we did sell our home mostly furnished. We brought a few things with us, but that was because we lived in a resort community in Hilton Head and that is just the preferred way to sell your home because a lot of people are looking for either a second home or a rental home and then they don't have to fool with all the furniture. So um, that's what we did. It did make it a lot harder on us on this side. It made it easy on the move side, but it made it very difficult on um, the moving in on this side. But we have most of our furniture now. We're settling in. The girls are both doing well. I know several of y'all have asked me about that. Katie is working on a transfer. Um, up here to a different school and um, Sophie is doing very well. We got her room handled pretty much immediately So once she had all of her toys and everything she settled in um, very quickly so far We really like it up here. Um, I'm from the upstate originally of South Carolina and um, so it's very familiar to me It's a lot more like Lexington than it is like Hilton Head um, and so we're really enjoying it. We are in a rural area and we really love that because Hilton Head has gotten so crowded and just there's just so many people there. It's, it's really difficult to do the basic things you need to do. It's hard to, it was hard to get out of our neighborhood. It was hard to go to the grocery store. Um, it was hard to really do anything. A lot of the shopping was in Bluffton and it would just take a really long time to get anywhere and then get back. And then even just to get through the store with so many people was just very difficult so it kind of made it where you didn't really want to go anywhere you just kind of wanted to stay home all the time um so it wasn't it's not really the same you know going to hilton head on vacation is not really the same as living there full time and although we really do love the area it, there's really no down season anymore and that just became kind of hard to live there full time So this was a pretty easy project. The gel stain is very, very easy to work with if you've never used it. It's a lot easier than a regular stain just because there's no dripping. You have a lot more control. The downside is probably that you don't have quite as many color choices and it would be harder if you wanted to mix stain colors and kind of get more of a custom color. Um, I did not wipe it off a whole lot. I just put a really light coat on. Every once in a while I'd wipe it off if I felt like I got a little bit too much and it was gonna be darker in an area. And I just used some old rags that um, were pretty much lint free. And uh, for me, the hardest part was really the taping. I just, I don't know, this tape and I were not friends on this day. I really had a struggle with that. 
like I said, I don't typically use the painter's tape. I just kind of freehand when I'm painting. So I felt like it slowed me down a whole lot. But the staining itself was very, very easy. And it also dried very quickly because I didn't saturate the wood. I just did a very, very light coat. Um, so I felt like it, this was an easy project to tackle if you're, you know, wanting to change the look of some wood in your home. This new home that we're in is a totally different style than the one we moved from, which was very coastal. Um, this home is a craftsman style and it's a little bit more on the cottage or rustic side. There's a lot of, um, you know, stone and wood and things like that. And I'm really enjoying that. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like a mountain cabin, you know, that we've stayed in before, except that it's not like a log cabin on the outside, but it has some of those wood elements and the stone elements that we're really enjoying. I'm not going to film painting or I'm not going to film staining both sides because it's going to be the same thing. But here's the left side done. And here's what the right side looks like and I haven't started it yet. So that's kind of a comparison there. The next day the stain was dry and we had the mantle installed and then I was able to decorate. Okay, I've got the shelf stained and... The mantle is now hung, so all I need to do is put up the decorations that I have at this point. I'll show you this side. These are some of the things that I have here. Some of these are just normal and some are fall. I have a few things in here that I might use for the mantle. I'll just kind of see what I decide to do, but I'm going to go ahead and get some of this stuff out on the shelves. Everything that I'm using for the mantle was stuff that we did move with us. Mostly I'm using fall decor that I've used before, except for those candlesticks. I kind of use them year round and um, I think I got them last year during the Christmas season. But I'm going to arrange a bunch of different pumpkins that I have on the mantle with that one garland um, and see how that looks. Now moving on to the shelves, I did buy two of these um, paintings from Hobby Lobby and um, they were, you had different uh, prints to choose from. So I got two different ones and then everything else was uh, either plants or things that we moved with us from the other house. I definitely didn't have enough decor to fill the shelves. I, I ended up leaving the top shelves empty for now. So um, I feel like I didn't want to go and buy a whole lot of stuff because it's you know fall decor now then moving into Christmas and so I'm probably going to deal with just everyday decor later but I just wanted to get a few things put out just to have it look a little bit more um, normal and uh, decorated and moved in.
Thanks for being here today, friend. We'll see you next time. Bye.